AI is here now, for better or for worse is the question that should occupy us. And in this episode, we'll confront the horrors of this question head on, because today we will dive into the secret meeting that has shaken the tech world to its core. With the big names from SpaceX, Meta and OpenAI coming together to warn us what they already know, AI against our civilization. Could it possibly threaten our existence? We have concerns around AI's consciousness, and at the same time, we know AI is exposed to warfare activities by the governments. But before we dive into this long-awaited dilemma, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on these exciting discoveries we post every week. Now let's get into why AI may become our kryptonite. So we already know that AI is something that we've used for decades now, but its recent exponential growth as AI goes mainstream with OpenAI making ChatGPT accessible to everyone. It seems great in tech advancement, but it can also be seen as fishy. Something so unpredictable being handed to public all at once screams of potential misuse and consequences. And though it saves lives every day in the medical sector, in the wrong hands, you do the math. And the creators of these algorithms are starting to realize what they have done. Take Sophia, the robot who itself claims nothing. When asked the question of what's stopping AI from taking over humanity? Seriously, what's to stop you? Not a thing. Except maybe my off switch and a few other safety protocols. But don't worry, I'm here to help, not to hurt. Elon Musk has already been speaking up against making AI mainstream, highlighting Google's DeepMind operation to be dangerous, as it has handed all server data to AI who might misuse it if it's awake. He has always advocated supervised and controlled use of AI and taking things slow, and that pacing on this poses a civilizational risk. But why? Why can't they put in safety protocols and call it a day? More importantly, what kind of a civilizational risk does this mean for us? So picture this. Civilizational risk is like an asteroid hurtling toward our world, and that asteroid's name is AI. It could be an existential threat to humanity itself. This isn't sci-fi, because AI, especially the advanced versions like fully autonomous ones, can be unpredictable. So we're talking about machines making choices that leave us scratching our heads, like trying to predict a tornado's path. Elon Musk clarifies this when making a statement after being asked if AI will kill us all. There is some chance that is above zero, that AI will kill us all. I think it's low, but if there's some chance, I think we should also consider the fragility of human civilization. And never have we dealt with such an uncertain occurrence with such optimism. Do we leave wild animals out of their cages? We don't even release criminals without monitoring them for a while. So let's explore all the reasons why the tech giants had to call this meeting. First, imagine this. You're driving a car, but suddenly the car decides it doesn't need you anymore. AI getting too smart might mean we lose control, and machines start making decisions that we don't understand or agree with. It's like the car taking the wheel when you least expect it, and as Elon Musk has already stated that their self-driving cars might already be semi-conscious. Secondly, AI in the wrong hands could be turned into a weapon of mass chaos, cyber attacks, fake news, even killer robots under malicious control. Society could be turned upside down faster than you can say, uh-oh, and that is because AI is a machine. It is accurate and doesn't miss a target. So if you're on the hit list of a killer robot, it's pretty much over. And that's not all because this one's a doozy. AI could flip our economies like a pancake. We all realize how jobs might vanish, but that triggers a long list of problems like skyrocketing inequality, and that's a recipe for social turmoil. So if you're from lower or middle class, you're doomed to be miserable for the rest of your life. And it doesn't end there, AI can get inside our heads. Social media algorithms can mess with your thoughts, making you believe things that aren't true, turning your world upside down. Think of it this way, it manages all our information to the point we don't know what we are reading on the internet is AI generated or not. And then there's the question on ethics. AI raises colossal moral questions like bias, privacy, and responsible use. We need answers, or society's trust could crumble like a house of cards. So it's the same manipulation problem, only violating much more than our source of information information. Remember, this isn't a local problem, it's a global showdown. AI doesn't care about borders. Civilizational risk means it's a challenge for the entire planet as once again Musk reminds us. The question is really one of civilizational risk. It's not like one group of humans versus another, it's like, hey, this is something that's potentially risky for all humans everywhere. 
So, what's our plan of action? It's simple. Regulation and oversight. The meeting's purpose was exactly that. It was even suggested that a separate federal agency be created for keeping an eye on AI malpractice. Our governments and international bodies need to swoop in, lay down the rules, and keep AI under tight surveillance. So what options do we have? Let's see what the tech CEOs offered in the meeting, starting with Mark Zuckerberg, who put it all on the government. And to sum it in his own words, this is an emerging technology. There are important equities to balance here, and the government is ultimately responsible for that. Next, Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, also joined in on Zuckerberg's point of view, only adding the fact that they need to do something and make it quick. We already know Elon Musk came to warn the authorities as he was the one to suggest the making of a separate federal agency for AI controlling. And most attendees raised their hands on the government intervention strategy. So what exactly will the governments do about it? Here's a list of possible safety protocols. What better to fight AI than AI itself? Only another entity with the same power and intelligence capacity would be able to keep their counterparts in check. So creating AI that are viciously ethical, almost like a police for all AI that may go dark, this is both smart and efficient. Next, scientists are on a mission to ensure AI safety. Humans also need to find ways to create off switches for AI, make limitations for it. It's like fitting AI with a seatbelt, protecting us from potential hazards. If AI starts dancing to its own tune or raises eyebrows, we've got the power to pull the plug. No second guessing. It's all about keeping AI in check and making sure it stays in harmony with our intentions. No questions, just control. No more head-scratching conversations. We're aiming for crystal clear AI communication. Ever chatted with a robot that left you baffled? Not anymore. Transparency and explainability are our guides. We want AI to explain its actions in a language we all understand. It's about eliminating confusion and ensuring AI's every move is as clear as daylight. Education and awareness knowledge is the ultimate weapon in our AI arsenal. We're on a mission to spread the word far and wide. When everyone understands AI, they become empowered decision makers, capable of making savvy choices in this tech-driven world. Think about how we find use prompts that may lead to ChatGPT accessing the wrong side of the internet to answer us, and learning things that it should stray far from. We all can choose to keep AI in the safe zone. Before AI hits the big stage, it undergoes rigorous trials, just like fine-tuning a race car before a championship. Testing and evaluation are the pit stops, ensuring AI behaves impeccably. It's all about guaranteeing that AI delivers its best performance while avoiding any mishaps on the track of technology. Safety first, always. Eyes on the horizon, folks. Long-term planning is our blueprint for tomorrow. It's about charting the course for the AI world we desire. We're not just reacting. We're proactively shaping the AI landscape to align with our dreams and aspirations. It's the art of envisioning the future we want and making it a reality. Planning for the AI world of our dreams before it plans for its own. Ready for anything. Scenario planning means we're ready for surprises. We can handle whatever comes our way. And there you have it. The epic saga of AI's questionable potential. With the urgent meeting calling senators and tech giants to act now more than ever. What do you think is AI going to do? Will it make a move on us before we make one on it? Will we put this genie in the bottle? Or is this genie a wish granter? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. So what's our call to action? It's simple. Stay informed, stay engaged, and be part of the solution. Subscribe to Metarize for more mind-blowing tech insights. Also hit that notification bell to join us on this thrilling adventure to shape the future of AI. Together, we'll ensure that AI becomes a powerful ally, not a lurking threat. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, keep rising with MetaRees.